Hello everybody, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more La Mulana 2. In the last episode, we defeated the Echidna and got the Giant's Flute. We also uh, uncovered a big secret up in Nibiru. But today, we are going to solve the riddle of Brahma. Alright, that being said, there are a lot of keys to this... Uh, there are a lot of keys to this puzzle. First of all, the four faces of Brahma each uh, represent a different metal. Uh, this one is... Actually, what is this one? Alright, that was silver. This is steel. Uh, that would be the Kali Yuga, that which represents the age of worldly desires. Now, we learned from a tablet that there are as many mala prayer beads as worldly desires. The beads weave together those whose desires drive them to fight tirelessly, even after their lives are exhausted. The key words here are battle and life, and each of those is represented by a different god of creation. Uh, Brahma asked Atum, what is creation? He answered with a green light. Creation is fighting to protect. So, we know that... Whoops. We know that Atum is associated with green, and uh, therefore battle is associated with a green light. Whereas life is represented by a red light. Whoops. The lights represented by the gods are the colors emitted when we uh, show them the egg of creation. So, for the Kali Yuga, we are going to want the steel face showing, and we are going to want the red and green lights shining on this arm. Yes, that is the prayer beads. Okay. The Satya Yuga is the golden age, the age of virtue. Virtue is the Padma Lotus, which is associated with life and chaos. So we need a red light and a purple light for Satya Yuga. All right. The silver face is the uh, the silver face is the Treta Yuga, the age of silver, the age of belief. The Vedas texts constitute a belief system. One belief is that when we reach death, we will return to water. Death is gold by process of elimination, or yellow rather, and water is blue because it is the light that was. Uh, Emitted by Abzu when we checked his statue. So, yellow and blue. That is indeed the texts. Finally, Dvapara Yuga, the age of copper, the age of tolerance. The Kamandalu water, part, water pot is tolerance, is the vessel which tolerates any battle that provokes chaos. Battle is green, chaos is purple. So let's shine a purple light on the final arm. Success! What does this do for us? New message. You passed Brahma's Trials with flying colors. I wonder what that's a picture of. Could it be a full map of Eglana? And where does red and blue lights? They probably represent certain locations. Try checking it against the map on your tablet. You may figure something out. Let's see. What are these red and blue lights? Hard to say. But, it looks like... Hmm... What does this look like? It 
Hmm. It's a little hard to say what exactly all these things are. Uh, this is obviously the roots at the very top. What's this? Aha! I see icons. Okay, so this area is the Divine Fortress. This area is the Shrine of the Frost Giants. This is uh, Takamagahara. This is Heaven's Labyrinth. This is probably the Hall of Malice. And this is the Underworld. Alright, we are going to want to remember this. So, now that we've solved all of these, can I get rid of them entirely in my notes? Divine Fortress, lower right, blue, Hall of Malice, upper right, red, Shrine of the Frost Giants. Upper Middle. Blue Light. Heaven's Labyrinth. Upper Jaw. Blue Light. Takamagahara Shrine. Tail. And finally... Red Light. Underworld. Top of Gloom. At least I think it's the top of gloom. Alright, what else can this map show us? Huh, what, what is all this? I'm not sure. Oh, this, uh... Good question. What is all this? I'm not sure. See, it's got three different maps to show us. Alright, I don't quite know what is being shown to us, but we have solved the puzzle, and uh, that is what is important. We'll always be able to come back here later. Alright, let me think. What was the next thing we wanted to do? Alright, let's go to the underworld and see if we can talk to Socket using the, uh... Using the giant's flute. Since Mantra's clear, it didn't work. Oops. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, maybe I was uh, wrong about where that thing is in the under. I don't know. 
Hard to say. still have this uh, statue of Vidofnir. I don't know if we need to kill Vidofnir to get access to this area or not. Ow. But we're gonna figure that out. Giant's flute? Anything? No. Alright then. Okay, well, let's go to the Divine Fortress, because now that we have all of the mantras, there's something we can get there. And it may help us navigate the, uh... May help us navigate the Eternal Prison a little better. <coughs> or at least I'm hoping it does. Eternity, night, eternity, child, mother. Eight mantras that we have to chant in order to get this Soma. Wish eternity. Oops. Come on. Night eternity. Finally, child, mother. Eh? Let's see. It's two phrases, so maybe we need phrases. All right, end, wind, wish, eternity. Night, eternity, child, mother. Mantra is needed to open it and another to pour it. Night, eternity, child, mother. Uh, 
Well, I can attack the cup now, so... Uh... Huh. What am I missing here? I don't get it. Oh, road, derp. <laughs> the child's road left by the mother. Yeah! Scoop some up. Alright, what's this do for us? There's only one way to find out. Let's go get ourselves killed in the underworld! Yay! I don't know if this is even what we need to do or not, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. First, we need to get to where she is. Not here. Let's see, yeah, this is Gloom. This is do. They have two different icons. Okay. Well, that didn't do very much. It does leave the question, though. What now? Well, I don't actually have an answer. <laughs> uh, huh. I guess this is where we're ending things for now. Thank you all for watching, though. Okay, I think I've actually figured this out, and the, uh, the truth is rather disappointing. This is a map of the locations of the Crystal Skulls and the Mantras. So, uh, red lights are Mantras, blue lights are Crystal Skulls, and the icons each represent a different area. Some of these are off the map altogether, and, uh, yeah, like, uh, there's a red map way up there. That was the mantra we got in Nibiru. 
This map is the mantra we got in uh, in Chaos. We also got a Crystal Skull in Chaos and a Crystal Skull here in Doom. Uh, we got a Crystal Skull way over here in Hall of Malice. So, uh, yeah, this map is actually useless to us. <laughs> Good times. On the other hand, the map uh, does tell us exactly which directions we need to uh, we need to point this in this uh, this blood corridor. So let's go do that. We don't have all the dissonance yet, but uh, I'm hoping we will pretty soon. So yeah, that map of the hexagon in Nibiru, combined with the map that Brahma gave us, tells us exactly what we need to know in order to orient the uh, corridor of blood correctly. Malice is... wait, Malice is where exactly? East of the labyrinth. Yeah. So we are in the right place, right? We should be. Oh, on the other hand, we don't have the dissonance from this place. That's right. Uh, where would we get the dissonance? Are we supposed to destroy Typhon? Is that the... Is that what that hint meant? Hmm. I do wonder. Let's go check it out. As soon as I uh, remember where Heaven's Labyrinth is. How do we destroy this thing, though, without uh, invoking the ire of the thing here? Echidna system lock. The system has crashed due to the destruction of the energy source, Echidna's room. Subsequently, Project Typhon cannot be executed. Oh! The Olympian seizure of Eglon has been rendered impossible. There's our dissonance! Alright, let's head on out to the Hall of Malice and, uh... And orient our thing correctly. That is not Hall of Malice. We may need to enter the Corridor of Blood to, uh... Yeah! There we go. That's exactly what I wanted.
Yes. Okay, as for the other three... Uh, let me think. Dark Star Lord, I believe we already have the dissonance here. Yeah, wasn't that when we uh, when we killed Ra? Guys, we're approaching the end game. It's really great. I mean, we still have two bosses left to kill, but... Yes, we already do have the dissonance from here. We can't do very much here yet because we don't have the giant's dissonance, nor do we have the, uh, the dissonance from the underworld. But that's fine. That's what we, that's what our next couple of goals are. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.